Hey everyone, welcome back. It's been just over three weeks since I published my first video testing the Whaleberry 3D printed shoes, which I found on Maker World. Since then, I've been daily driving them, walking, running, hiking, grocery runs, basically treating them like any normal pair of shoes. If you haven't seen that first video yet, I highly recommend checking it out first. It covers the print setup, first impressions, and how they looked straight off the build plate. That context will help everything I'm talking about here make more sense. Today's video is a semi-long-term update. I'll go over comfort, durability, real-world use, and whether 3D printed shoes are actually practical or still just a cool experiment. Let's quickly talk about how I printed these. I used a Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon printing each shoe one at a time. The print used the default profile provided by the designer. 0.2 millimeter layer height and 15% infill. No special mods, no tuning. Just loaded the file, scaled it based on the sizing guide from Maker World, and hit print. Sizing was super easy. The model page includes a chart, so I just scaled the model accordingly in the slicer. The result? Perfect fit. No adjustments needed after printing. Now, comfort. These actually feel a lot like running shoes, but which is what I normally wear. There's enough softness for walking and the TPU flex is just right. That said, there are trade-offs. The shoes are a bit warm, especially now that the weather's heating up. And if you're wearing them for longer periods, you definitely want thicker socks. There are small bumps on the footbed, part of the internal pattern. And after a while, you'll feel them through thin socks. So for short trips, they're fine. But for anything longer, Thick socks are a must. Now for real-world durability. I've worn these shoes daily, hikes, errands, long walks, and early on they held up well. But around week two, I started noticing stress points forming, especially along the sides of the toe bumper, right where the shoe naturally flexes with each step. By week three, the cracking had gotten noticeably worse. These are clearly high-stress flex zones, and it's where the most repeated bending happens. The material itself isn't failing, but it's the design that needs reinforcement in those spots. It's not a total failure yet, I'm still using them, but if I don't patch or reprint them, I expect they'll give out within another few weeks. So when I make my next pair, I'm planning to increase wall thickness or reinforce those toe flex areas directly in the model to see if it solves the problem. And here's something fun. They turn heads. I've had people stop me in public ask about them, take photos, and start conversations. Most people have never seen 3D printed shoes before, and it really surprises them when I say, yeah, I printed these at home. If you're into wearable tech or just want a conversation starter, this design delivers. Cleaning has been a breeze. Since they're made entirely of TPU, you don't have to worry about stains or soaked fabric. A quick wipe gets rid of dirt, and if they get muddy, just toss them in the washing machine. This is honestly one of the most practical features of 3D printed footwear. Now, let's talk performance. For walking, they're great. There's enough bounce in the sole to keep your steps comfortable. But once you start running or jumping, you'll notice a lack of cushioning. There's no midsole structure like in traditional athletic shoes, so you feel the ground on impact. Also, they tend to collect small rocks and mud on the sole. Not a deal breaker, but it does mean more cleaning if you use them off-road or on trails. So, final thoughts. The Whaleberry design from Maker World is really close to being a functional everyday shoe. It's lightweight, comfortable for daily wear, super easy to clean, and it gets attention. But it still needs some key improvements in durability and ventilation. I'll be doing another follow-up after the one-month mark to see if they survive or finally give out, and if my reinforced version holds up any better. Would you wear 3D printed shoes every day or try a different design? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Happy printing.